So now let's see how we can lock and hide shapes inside of Tinkercad. So in order to use the lock and hide option, first of all, I'm going to bring in some objects over here on the web plane. And if I want to lock an object, let's say for example, right now I can move this object and then select out all of the objects in my scene. But if I were to go over here onto one of the objects, you can see that on the properties panel, you got this lock like icon. And if I were to click on it, then that icon is locked. So I can select this, but I cannot move this around. So even if I were to select this accidentally, I cannot change the properties of this particular object. So if I were to click on this lock icon right here, or I can also press control L on my keyboard. Now the icon is unlocked. So I can select out these things right here. I can lock both of them by pressing control L on my keyboard as well. And if I were to press control L is unlocked out. So another thing that I can do is I can hide out shapes as well. Let's say for example, I want to hide around all of these shapes. Then I can go around over here and then I can click on this light bulb right here, which hides out the shapes. So now I only have the shape right here. When I hide the shape, uh, it's, actually not deleted. It's just there. We just can't see it at the moment. If I were to click on the bulb icon right here, that is so all. There's also a shortcut key attached that's control shift plus X as you can see. If I were to click on this, then you can see that everything is actually shown. So if I were to go over here, let's see again, there's like control X as hide. So if I were to press control X, everything is hidden right there. And then there's control shift X everything is unhidden just like that. And that is how you can work around with the lock and hide shapes option inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.